Hey ya folks, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Heroes Hour with our series of fun and sometimes highly broken builds. Today I've been requested to look at the Earthen Faction. Now I'll be honest, the dwarves don't excite me that much. I think that a lot of their heroes and units are kind of middle of the road. Not bad, but not phenomenal. I mean, some characters like Navirus are great for a blood warping champion build. Brynvird can be good for a legion swarming build. It's not bad. But the one character that really stands out to me is Gunver. Now Gunver can get the Dragon King ability very early on. As we fight, we'll gain points. We can trade those points in to get a free red dragon, which is very, very strong. But then you pair this up with a Devourer skill which means you can eat that dragon and absorb its power to permanently buff your army, and this guy can become an absolute monster in the late game. Practically unbeatable. But you have to survive long enough to get your first dragon, and that can be very tricky. From there, though, there's a lot of different ways you can take this character. If you want scaling, you've got hegemony, necromancy, and demonology available to you. I'm going to go for blood warping and champion, because it pairs up phenomenally well with devour and dragon king, but you get the idea. A lot of directions to take this character, most of which are very, very strong. Let's go ahead and play on Hardcore Plus and see if we can survive. There are a few other things to enjoy with this faction, though. We can get ourselves miners very early on. These are starting units with a taxpayer ability, which means simply by having them, we get extra gold per day. That can be good for helping to boost up your economy, because eventually they do pay for themselves. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and grab a guard post next, just so we can get some basic range units. Other unique buildings we can enjoy, though, include things like a Monument of War, which gives us early mercenaries if we have a lot of gold, which pairs up very nicely with the miners. We can also go for Rune Forge to get a permanent buff to our army. We'll like that later. Uh, Institute of Carving so that we can pick up ore on the overworld and get earth elementals. We can store the souls of my dying dwarves and turn them into earth elementals. Yeah, there's a few things to enjoy here. But, you know, it's kind of eh, not going to help us right now. Let's just go ahead and explore this first week, find out what's going on in the map. The obelisk is not defended. I love to see that because it means I can go treasure hunting kind of early on. Uh, I do see an ore mine over here. We will want to grab that early on. Ore is the most important resource for the dwarves, kind of unsurprisingly. We're definitely going to want a lot of that. I did not actually see who we are fighting this game. That was my bad. I need to make a habit of looking at that more. Wow, the obelisks are all right next to each other. That's convenient. We'll grab one of those. Then we'll grab one of those. And then we'll grab one of those. All right, so wherever there's an alchemy lab and stuff, I think I actually just saw that over here. Yep, the treasure's right here. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's see. The windmill we'll go ahead and grab for some free crystal. What do we have over here? A crypt. Yeah, we can get Corpse Eaters. Um, I'm not worried about that right now. We can't fight that in the moment. That's fine, though. We'll come back to it. The Rune Altar is something I'm going to want to pick up early on. This will give me the uh, Rune Scribe as a ranged uh, caster, or the Rock Earthen, which is an immortal unit. And you already know why I like these. Very good early game frontline units, because they don't die, so you don't lose a lot. Let's go ahead and grab the Institute of Carving, so I can uh, pick up some extra ore on the overworld, and get free Earth Elementals as a result. One other benefit that uh, this hero has on him is actually an ability called Crystal Assembly. This means that as we find resources on the overworld, we'll get th free Crystalthemums, which is basically a crystal elemental. We've got a couple of them already, actually. And, you know, free units are free units. I'm not going to say no to that. Every once in a while, if you get a really big treasure trove, you actually seem to get, like, a Child of Midas, which is really quite nice. I do like getting that, but oh well. All right, what else we got here? Um... We could go for the Rune Forge. I'm debating going for the upgraded Deep Tunnels just so I can get Carvers early on. If I'm going to head back to my city, I want to upgrade these because the more power they have, the more gold they generate for me. But I'm going to grab the Carver Stalls first. This gives me extra ore per day and also unlocks our Marketplace. We do not have the standard Marketplace as the Earthen. We have to trade ore for any of these resources, which is one more reason why ore is extremely important for us. By the way, we're fighting against the Decay Faction. Yeah, that's always scary. Decay is obviously very, very good, and if they are able to scale, they will absolutely obliterate us. Hey, look, some ore. We want that. Uh, the Rune Altar, I don't have enough wood to make this work. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and grab the Monument of War, and we look at the Mercenaries and see if we get anything really good. We've got Maulers and Excavators. I can spend some gold to create some of these units, and I will. It gets more expensive the more of them you buy, so don't go too crazy. But like an extra 25 of these, for example, is kind of a hefty bonus. So all of a sudden, I feel like I can take some early game fights, and I will be able to survive a lot of things. I'd even be tempted to turn around and grab this sawmill. 
I'm actually very tempted to do that because I know I need the lumber. Let's actually do that. This should be a winnable fight for us. Uh, place the miners in the back. We don't want them dying. Excavators and stuff up here. Hero toward the front. Range units and so on. All right, go. Uh, I think we'll take some losses here. I'm just hoping we can keep them fairly minimal. These hull, uh, hill keepers could be a small problem. Need to get in there and disrupt some of their range units, if at all possible. We're taking some losses. Nothing insane yet, but it's getting there. So far, just those mercenaries I grabbed, and this is kind of an acceptable trade to me. We're not losing anything I can't afford to lose. We're going to grab that sawmill and open up more options to get things like the earthens next time around. So grab all that, then we can head back. Next turn, we can grab... Actually, we can do it now, now that I think about it. Grab these now, grab the rock earthens, grab these, send them down. Perfect. All right, now with these guys as my front line, we definitely can take a lot of early fights. And we need to get level 2 up and running as fast as we can so I can start working on that Dragon King. We need to get dragons. It is absolutely critical that we get dragons as early in the game as we can, because they're the thing that's gonna keep me alive. If the enemy player comes after me and I don't have my first dragon and I haven't devoured anything that matters, we might be in a lot of trouble. Get in here and disrupt their range units, please and thank you. I don't really care much about their equestrian Silly little centaur people, who cares about that? We're gonna lose a couple of units, but we'll get the ore quarry very early on. And again, remember, every time I pick up ore from the overworld, I'm gonna get some more free units as well. So this is gonna get me rock elementals we definitely have gained in power. Grab Dragon King, there we go. So now as we take these fights, we'll start getting those points. Perfect. I'm gonna upgrade my carvers, so my miners are now better. Do I wanna get a free level, more miners? Yeah, free level's kind of hard to say no to. We'll take that and get the Devour skill immediately so that I will be able to start eating units. You don't have to eat dragons. You can eat your other stuff, and sometimes that's worth it. But at Devour level 1, it probably isn't going to give you enough stats to really justify it. You may want to wait on that a little bit. All right, so treasure should be over here, right? There it is. Grab. Thank you. What do we get? We have tusks sets. Okay. Yeah, summoning reinforcements could be good. The learning skill means I'll get extra XP, so I'll level up faster. I like some of this, and the defense and stuff is pretty good. We'll take all of it. Thank you. Uh, another helmet. I don't really want this. The extractor set is great, but I think I already have a helmet that's pretty good, so we'll hold off on that one for now. Uh, what else do I want? The Temple of War means we can get some extra morale. I like that. We do need to head back to the city at some point, but before I do that, I want... The Rune Forge, the Rune Altar, the Temple of War, and the Guild of Mages. All of that would be good for me. Um, I think we'll go ahead and pick up the Guild of Mages first. I know we're not at level 5, but I don't have any spells right now. So if we head back, I want to get some spells. Also, we can work toward Rock Limbo, which means as my units die, we'll just sort of store up their souls. Do I want the XP? Yes, I, I would normally say the Child of Midas is good, but we actually got one for free anyway. And uh, I, I think we need the XP. We just need to level up as fast as we can. That's so important for this character. The faster you level up, the better. Let's go ahead and grab another level in Soul of the Earth. As our units die, they leave behind souls, which turn into Earth Elementals for the fight. So that's pretty good. Grab this. We're getting a lot of Crystalthemums. I like that. I see some wood down here and a bunch of other things. There's a lot of stuff just laying around for some reason. That is phenomenal for this character. Let's go ahead and grab... Ooh... Uh, center of the earth is good. Let's grab the carvers first because we can get some extra gold generation. The rest I'll hold off on. Grab the rune forge. I know I want that. We've got a decent amount of ore generation coming in right now. Yeah, we actually should be able to grab all this, circle back, head back to the city, and we're going to be in really good shape to grab all of our bonuses. Grab this, uh, more XP, level up, dragon king level 2, so we can get more points there. Then we'll need to get devour level 2 for sure, and consider eating some mercenaries or somebody to get some stats. Uh, Temple of War, could get that now, or I could get the upgraded Rune Altar, I'll do that so I can create these gold earthens. So the reason I like these guys, not only are they immortal and pretty decent as a front line, they now have Midas Touch, which means we can get more gold generation out of these guys, and also just have a chance of killing elite units in one hit. Midas Touch is really good, so having a unit that's immortal that gives it can only be good for me. A Rapier? Yeah, we can get the attack value. I think that's going to be good. We have mostly defense right now. And then after that, is there anything else? I think we could just head back now. Yeah, let's go ahead and start heading back. I want to grab more units, and I want to grab these buffs. Let's go ahead and grab the Temple of War so that when we arrive next turn, we will get some extra morale. Grab all of these guys. Perfect. I would normally take the units out of the city and go meet up to save me some movement, but we have to head back. 
absolutely have to head back for a couple of reasons. One, that morale. Two, the spells, including a town portal scroll. And let's go to the rune forge. So here's where we can choose one of our runes, and you have to have a hero in the city in order to activate this for the army. We could go for things like rune of earth, boosting up our health, but reducing movement speed. We could have the burning ability to set everyone on fire, but I'm gonna go for the rune of death. This is gonna reduce my morale and luck, which is normally terrible. But every time we hit an enemy, we have a chance at getting them turned into a skeleton, or at least generating a skeleton. This is phenomenal for summoning lots of units on the front line. I have to grab that, let's do it. I also wanna grab the cannon forge while I'm here. This is gonna give me an artillery unit who's got a very long range and does area of effect damage. You pair this up with the rune of death and hit a lot of units, you generate skeletons in their back line. These are really, really good with the Rune of Death. Let's also upgrade all these units. Now I've got a bunch of carvers who are generating some extra money for me. This is actually a very respectable army midway through week two. I like it. We should go try to kill people now and start getting dragon points. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Again, the uh, immortals need to be in the front. Hero and stuff. We have our cannons, blah, blah, blah. Miners always need to stick toward the back. If not, maybe not be deployed in the fight at all. We don't want those guys to die. Now, I could do Devour. You can see here, if I ate all these units, for example, we would get some extra attack and defense, which is pretty good. We do want to get that. I could eat my Child of Midas. I could eat some other stuff here. We could eat a bunch of these immortal units. I don't really want to eat most of these guys. I might eat the Crystalthemums, though. Yeah, let's eat as few units as we can and get one attack and one defense. Boom. That's worth it to me. Why? Because I'm going to now boost up my hero's stats. We get 3% more attack and more health or defense for every stat we've got, right? So I just buffed up my entire army a little bit and all we lost in this fight were the ones that I devoured. Not a big deal. So if we take a look at our hero here, now we have eight and nine. The goal, the whole point, is to get big honking dragons we can eat to boost this up as fast as possible. Eventually, we can get this up toward like 70, 80, 90, even 100, boosting up our entire army to do like three times more damage, more health, and so on. It's ridiculous. You have an immortal army that cannot be killed. We really want to get that up and running as fast as we can. Even better if we've got a lot of gold so we can head back to our city, buy some cheap mercenaries, and just eat them. I don't even care about them. These are just stats. Oop, Decay's already here. Okay, well, they haven't broken through the gate. This is not a strong enough army by itself, but they're scouting to find out what's going on over here. Oh, uh, that does concern me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We actually picked up a chess piece with a diplomacy skill. I can now spend some money to gain units. Trog Zerkers, Blind Acolytes. These guys are actually pretty good. I'll take them. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Devour Level 2. So if I am going to Devour, we get even more stats out of it. You really want to get up to this as quick as you can. After that, Hegemony is not bad. So this would get us Polar Cavalry, but only if we fight pretty big armies. If we don't, what we'll do is spend Sulfur to get more Carvers, which means more gold generation. So this is good for my economy. Blood Warping is great, though. Do not underestimate this, especially later on with the Crystalthemums. These can turn units into horrors, which are great. So Blood Warping is going to be huge for us. But first, let's grab Devour. What do we want next? Kind of the upgraded Cannon Forge. This lets you get Artillery. Artillery add confusion when they shoot, which has a chance of confused creatures just getting hit and then wandering around, not joining the fight. It's pretty good, but for now... We'll go ahead and grab the Rock Limbo so I can get value out of any of my units who die. Decay's just running around. They're finding stuff. They're already in the neutral territory, which I hate, but that's just Howard Card Plus for you. They're gonna do that. There's not much you can do about it. Is there anything I want to devour right now? We could, again, devour a few small units over here, get some attack and defense, and I will. I know it's not a lot yet, all right? But the better our devour skill, the less I have to eat in order to start gaining some benefit. And I really need to get those stats up as quick as we can. One mauler for 400 gold is a terrible deal. We're not gonna do that. We can now summon earth elementals. Yes, please. Okay, new week means more units. Grab the miners first for the gold generation. Grab the artillery, then some of these guys. And we're gonna send these all down to join. And that should be more than enough to finish out our entire starting zone. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to clear this entire area out and then go for the neutral territory. How are we doing as far as progress toward our dragon? If we take a look here, we are 44% of the way toward generating our first. Okay, still going to be a little while. Again, the faster we can get our dragon king up and a running, the better. 
And now I will grab the blood warping skill. Let's just go ahead and start picking that up, see if we can get anything really good. Maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't. After that, hegemony, probably. Ah, but this is what you have to watch for. Sometimes blood warping's like, hey, do you want to turn your mortars into these caribou elites? Which are pretty good. But no, I want to keep the mortars. If you have the rune of death, that splash damage is huge. Do not fall for this trick. I'm kind of surprised we're midway through week three and I'm still not seeing any sign of decay coming in to kill me. I kind of expected them to by now, if I'm honest. Ah, now this is scary. We could attack a dragon. Mmm, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. And then we can get all of its riches. I'm gonna try for it. Um, all of the Midas touch, please and thank you. There's a chance we kill it outright, which would be kind of hilarious. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and try to surround this thing as much as we can. Please kill it, kill it quick. It's gonna do lots of area attacks and stuff, which is a problem. This is kind of showing off the power that one dragon really does have. Come on, turn it to gold, turn it to gold, dang it! Ah, oh, why aren't you doing what I want you to do? Summon some rock elementals, distract it. Try not to let it get into my, ooh, back line, like that. Yeah, it's now setting all my guys on fire. Come on, get him. All right, we're gonna do a magic arrow, shoot this guy with some mana, do a lot of damage. He's almost down, there we go. All right, we took a few losses. That's the power of one dragon, all right? They're pretty good. Oh, if I had 9,000 gold, we could get one. Oh well, I don't. It was worth a shot though. Mm, yeah, sure, this is a pretty good reshape. And now we could go for champion. So this means that my elite units are going to be stronger. Great for dragons, great with blood warping. Oh, and we actually did get a dragon anyway. I got enough points. Hooray! This means that we can eat our next dragon. This guy had a lot of treasure on him, by the way. Which is kind of what dragons do, I guess. Oh my gosh, we got tusk set. Yes, please. All right, grab that. Now we've got all three pieces. It is so rare that I'm able to actually get all three pieces of equipment. But now, we get free reinforcements as we fight. This is going to make my life so easy. All right, we have our dragon. Oh, my devour's on a cooldown. All right, we can't do anything with the dragon yet. I will eat you next turn. Don't worry about it. Still no sign of decay. This feels weird and I'm uncomfortable by it. Let's go ahead and fight in this prison. Uh, Paragon and stuff. We'll just get a really powerful imprisoned hero if we get in here. Maybe we can take him down. All right, dragon, I'm gonna eat you. I know it feels weird, but we're gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. So you sit tight and if we eat the dragon, you see we're gonna get three attack and two defense. With higher devour, this gets even better. And then with more dragon king, we're gonna start generating more dragons more rapidly. Trust me when I say that this will be worth it. It feels weird to eat my strongest unit, but it is going to pay off. All right, now we're level nine. That means Dragon King level three. Generate more points, go even faster. I think at this point we've actually cleared out our entire homeland. So now's the time to go ahead and get my units upgraded and then head out of here since uh, apparently Decay is not coming to me. Oh, the new hero we got's really good. We got Bodyguard level two. So that means that we're gonna get a bunch of free, pretty strong units with this guy. Not to mention he's got Malediction and Buffer, so he can cast a lot. He's got Demoralize, Blood Warping, and Champion. This is a good hero. Not necessarily your primary hero. Bodyguard is only good for a secondary hero who has a smaller army, but he's gonna be great for clearing up a lot of stuff. I like this guy. Should we upgrade these cannons? I don't have enough gold, but we can get that fixed. I just need to trade some ore away, get a bit more of this. There we go, upgrade all of those, perfect. And we also have an antique shop where I would be able to buy some stuff. None of this is extraordinary for me though. And now that I do have an antique shop, I actually can sell off any extra trinkets that I find, which can be worth a lot of money. Still no sign of decay. They must be having a really rough game. I'm not sure what else to say. Anyway, from here on out, I'm gonna be taking as many fights as I can, always leading with my immortal units and my artillery in the back to create skeletons and have a strong front line. And then everything else is kind of optional. It doesn't really matter what we send out there. And these skeletons, I know it doesn't seem like much, but seriously, they do so much to distract an enemy and prevent them from doing a lot of damage as they do more damage themselves and absorb a lot of hits. We're gonna be going into a lot of fights from here on out, and thanks to the artillery with the Rune of Death, take no losses. That's gonna happen a lot. Let's make sure we get Devour level three, and now I really don't feel bad about eating a lot of things, even if it's not a dragon, because we're gonna get a lot of stats, and with things like Demonology up and running, because of an artifact I picked up, we're generating a bunch of free units like these flame stokers. We could just eat them. And that would also give me stuff. Anytime we have trash units I don't care about, eat them, get stronger. So like, for example, if I don't care about these flame stokers and I ate 32 of them, that's a, basically a dragon right there. Let's do it. Thank you. And we've already got another dragon. 
Perfect, I know what I'm eating for breakfast tomorrow. There's some of Green's units. That's still not your main hero, I imagine. It can't be. No, that, that can't be it. So in that case, hey, I'll just, uh, you know, kill these guys real quick for funsies. Thank you. Um, but where's your main hero? All right, let's go ahead and eat the dragon. That's another four attack and three defense. Thank you. There we go. We win that fight easily. I didn't really lose anything, because remember, 80 of this power was from a dragon, so we actually gained power out of this fight. <laughs> Definitely need to grab Soul of the Earth level 4, because at level 15, we want to get Dragon King level 4 and Devour level 2. Actually, we can hold off on this a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab another level of Blood Warping, so we can get more value there. I still haven't gone for Hegemony. I'm aware of this. But I also don't need it, because I'm doing fine. Let's go ahead and Bully Green. There's some more... Well, again, there's Green, but it's not a huge army. What are you doing? This is the thing about Decay. If they can't win a lot of early game fights and boost up their strength, then sometimes they never really find their footing. I'm not sure if that's what's happened here. Maybe these guys literally weren't able to win a lot of early game fights, and as a result, they're completely hamstrung. I'm not sure. Well, there's their city, and we can reach it this turn, which basically means you guys are doomed. And green has been vanquished. Wow, you're, you're kidding me. Okay, <laughs> easy. It's ironic when I'm a better necromancer than the necromancers, you know what I mean? Okay, purple's out and exploring. We're gonna have to deal with them. Uh, don't know if I can catch up to them in time before they become a problem, but it's not a huge army there either. So I'm assuming we're gonna be fine. Eh, purple's going for it against my backup hero, which does suck, but honestly, my rune of death is still paying off tremendously well. And this guy's not bad as a spellcaster. He's letting me do a lot here. Plus, he started with seven, what are they called, loss? Uh, where are these guys? Yeah, these big lich-looking things here as his bodyguards. Because I'm telling you, bodyguard is an underestimated skill. It's great for secondary heroes. If you're going to get a second hero, right, who runs around and doing your bidding while your main hero's out doing all the snowballing, you want either royalty, estates, or bodyguard. Those are the three skills that can really make a difference. Anyway, let's get back to what we're good at and keep eating dragons. Oh, this is what I was looking for. All right, Blood Warping is now turning my Crystalthemums into Horrors. One of the best units in the game, bar none. Range does area of effect damage, inflicts terror, creates its own backup units. So good, you can win games with just Horrors if you try. Here comes Blue, and they're engaging against me. Ooh, they've got dragons of their own. That would be scary under most circumstances. Stand by, hang on, let me formulate my response. Yeah, I'm sure you think this army is very scary, but um, I think we'll be fine. Plus, I've got a lot of really good spells. I was gonna say, let's just go ahead and make him take a lot of extra damage. Alright, the dragons admittedly are a problem. They will create a lot of issues for me. But we're in here doing a lot already, so I, I don't know. Maybe we'll be fine. I assume we're fine. Okay, yeah, we are taking some losses. I'm losing mostly expendable units, though. I'm talking things like earth elementals and stuff. Things I don't really care about. One of their dragons is already down. They're clustering up with all their new reinforcements, which means my artillery is spawning a ton of skeletons right on their heads. So yeah, we haven't lost any reinforcements yet or had the need to get any reinforcements, and we've already made them burn through almost their entire army. There's my first round of reinforcements. And now that their second dragon has fallen, they're going to run away. All right, so yes, they did inflict some casualties there, but we got another dragon out of the arrangement, and I just killed probably the largest army in the game. So I'm kind of envisioning we're fine from here on out. Oh, plus three, Midas touch, don't mind if I do. And we can even now go for Dragon King level four. All right, let's start generating those dragons really fast now. We should be able to eat a dragon all the time. Blue has been removed from the game. All right, so it's just me and purple. Each of us have two cities. <laughs> Not even worried about it. Hey, look, two more dragons. Let's eat them! Nine attack and eight defense out of the arrangement. Oh, yeah. Oh, and five more horrors. Yes. So it is close to the beginning of week five, and we are at, what, 48 and 46 for attack and defense. Remember, that's 3% extra damage and health for each one of these stats. So we're looking really strong here. Like at this point, I I'm pretty sure my army's not unkillable, but close to it. There's purple, all right, time for one really big fight. This is gonna be the game deciding match, I'm about positive. And they're gonna send everything they can here after me, but with my horrors being super strong with their splash damage, plus my artillery in the back creating skeletons with every dang hit, doing, <laughs> 
like twice as much damage as they should be able to, like every barrage from these horrors are crushing all their little guys. Oh my gosh, they're gonna, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think we're gonna lose anything that matters here. We're gonna lose so little. Oh, get wrecked. 19 power lost, <laughs> almost 1,200 killed. <laughs> and we'll make it even better. Champion 4, why not? Oh, and there's another dragon, by the way. <laughs> so we're gonna forge into the other neutral territory. This is where their main city is gonna be, I can guarantee it. We can skip outcomes at this point. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I care about that. So let's see, where's your city? Can I finish you off before the start of the new week? I should be able to. Just follow all the mine carts. They will lead me to the city. There it is. Ah, oh, we can't reach it this turn. You're going nowhere, though. That's a pretty big army again. All right, they got a lot of stuff, but I'm not worried. Not even a little bit. Seriously, the only thing that matters at this point are my extremely buffed horrors. These guys alone can now win me every fight of the game with the amount of stats I've given them. They summon worms. They do tons of damage at a good distance to huge clusters of enemies. I mean, you just give these guys two or three times more attack and health. What can you do? Nothing. Yeah, this guy got absolutely obliterated. We lost practically nothing because I ate a dragon, so we lost six power in total. That's it. I mean, I could pick up other skills, but like, why? What else do I need? I don't need a scaling mechanic. I don't need hegemony, necromancy, or demonology. We're doing fine. I mean, good lord, even from like random garbage garrison fights, we're getting like 30-something percent progress toward getting dragons now. I'm, I'm literally gaining one of these, like, every two or three fights, even if they're tiny. It's so easy now. Looks like we're heading in toward the final fight right about now. I've got more dragons, but I wanted to show how stupid this is, all right? So I'm gonna have nothing but my horrors. That's it, just 15 of these horrors that are buffed up, and send them out into battle. I want you to watch, without me doing anything, just how stinking strong these guys are going to be. Look at them summon the skeletons, thanks to the Rune of Death. Look at them summoning all their own units. Look how much damage they're doing. These guys will win me the war by themselves, and it's all thanks to my Devour and the Rune of Death. Like, how do you beat this? When you think about it, what build exists in the game that could actually beat this? Blight? No. Midas Touch? No. Dragons? No. Maybe a summoning build. Maybe. And even then, my horrors have so much damage and health, I don't think they can be stopped. So let's see, that's all the cities. Um, they've got one hero running around and hiding from me somewhere. Great, now I've gotta go on pest control duty. There he is, tiny little straggler. Get over here. And you know what, let's eat these other dragons. Doink! Mine, thank you. I'm pretty sure that's the end of it, look at that. Look at that gorgeous exponential curve. It's almost perfect. Out of curiosity, what do we end with for our hero? We ended with 79 and 75. Again, that's phenomenal. That's like 240% extra attack and like 220 extra health. So good! Yeah, as I said, with this particular hero, if you can survive the early game, and we did get lucky, Decay didn't rush me, but if you can survive the early game long enough to get to your first dragon and then start eating them, you become a force to be reckoned with. I'm not even sure you can beat this hero once he gets properly going. So good. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>